So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing fundamental data type in C++. Till now we have discussed int, float, double, char, white character, these data types, right? So now we will be discussing uh, two more data type, built in data type that is bool and void data type in C++, right? Everything about these data types, like what is bool, what is void, how to use them, when to use them, the application, in which situation we should use void and bool data types. Everything up with the help of a program, we'll discuss about these data types. See, until C99 version, bool was not a data type in C, but yeah, it was introduced in C also after C99 version, right? But in C++, we have the bool and void data type, right? So we'll be discussing these things uh, in this video. See, as we know that C++ is still one of the most popular programming language. In, in industry, still they have demand of, you know, the candidates who are, you know, good in C++ programming language. And as we have seen that there is high demand of candidates who are equipped with the technical and industrial skills. So it is important for students to start acquiring these skills in early stage of your academic journey. Many students have been asking me about like colleges only, you know, focus theoretical uh, on theory. They don't provide practical knowledge, right? So we just have a degree. We don't have that industrial skill set. We don't don't have that practical skills that is actually required in you know industries, and that is true. If you want to sit in a high tech company in the interview of a high tech company, yes, degree is just an eligibility criteria to sit in the interview. But in interview, they will analyze you based on your skills. What makes you stand out from the rest? Companies not just look for a degree; they look more than that in you, like your skills. Uh, your certification, internship, project, training, and there are very few institutions which prepare you on these things. That's why I, I researched and found Sunstone. Sunstone is a leading higher education service provider that works with academic institutions in upskilling students for employability. Courses like BCA, MCA, MBA, BTEC, etc. are offered with Sunstone Edge through their 35 campuses in 30 cities. And you, you can also do advanced certification in the most in-demand skills like blockchain, artificial in intelligence, machine learning, data science, big data, data analytics, and many more. They also provide 50 plus guaranteed interviews to each of their student with the recruiters like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Accenture, ICICI, SBI, etc. that they have on board. They also have zero cost TMI option available with fast approval and zero loan processing fee together with a scholarship of worth rupees 1 plus crore. So if you are planning to pursue any course from the above mentioned courses, then I have gotten a short scholarship of worth rupees 20,000 for you guys on all the courses. But you can avail this scholarship only through my link. The link I'll put in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. And this offer is for limited time only. So now let's see what is bool and void data type in C++. First we will see bool. See it can take two values. Bool means boolean value, either true or False. True means the default integer value for this is 1, for false it's 0, right? So how you can use this? You can simply write like int uh, or you can write bool is a data type. So simply write the data type. The name of the variable, suppose I'm taking a is equal to true, you can write. Now true means by default, implicitly it, it would be converted into int. So it means 1. Now B will contain 1. So if you print C out A, this A will print 1, right? If you write here false, it means it will take 0. So it will print 0, fine. So we generally use this data type in conditional statements. If you want to check like two variables are there, right? We have suppose int x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 12, right? And something like if you want to check if x greater than y is equal to is equal to true. You can simply write true rather than writing 1 or 0, right? See, yeah, you can write 1 or 0 also. 1 means also true, 0 means false. But rather than writing 1 and 0, if you write true and false, it would be, I guess, increase the readability, right? Simply if we, rather than 1, if we read true, means it is more readable, more understandable for us right means true or false so we can use directly true or false here right now see until c99 version how we were using this bool using enum data type like this enum and here you can write down bool the name of your data type and here you can write down like false true the list 
and semicolon. Then by default, enum would associate this false with a 0 and this true with 1. Now in your program, you can write down false or true, right? Because you have defined your own data type using enum. This is enumerated data type that we have discussed when we were discussing C language. The link I'll put in this i button, you can check out that video, right? But now in C99, they have introduced this bool and in C++ also we have this data type, bool data type, right? So you can directly use this bool data type and we can use this in expression also. Suppose you are writing int and int x and y, right? And here I'm writing int z and z is equal to x plus y plus true minus false. This is also correct. X means 10, Y means 12, true means 1, false means it would be implicitly converted into 0, right? So it means 10 plus 12 plus 1 minus 0. That is also fine. In expression also you can directly write down true and false. In conditional statement you can write down true or false, right? Or if you want to, rather than this, like I am writing bool A is equal to 12. It means what? It is also true. Means if this other than 0, anything, any integer you will write that means true. So it returns true. If you write here 0, it means it is false. Right? That is also fine. So this is how, uh, this is what all about bool data type. Right? There is not much more about this data type. Now next is void data type. See, and see the size of bool is 1 byte but sometimes you know it is also you can say implementation dependent implementation defined so sometimes in some compiler you can get other result than this one right but in my compiler and on my machine it is taking one byte only so generally we say that that you know the, the size of this bool is one byte how you can find out in c out you can simply write like size of bool that's it it will give you the byte number of byte one byte fine so this is all about bool data type now next is void data type see void means simply if i say then nothing generally we write this void use this void data type as a return type of function means if a function is not returning anything then we write something like this void suppose a function is add and it will we have something and it is not returning anything we don't have this return statement in this function we don't have this one means it is not returning anything so that's why we write down here void means nothing right second use of this void data type is what if the function is not accepting any argument so we simply write here void it means it will not accept any argument so we write here the parameter list the argument list is void third thing we can create a void pointer like void asterisk ptr means it is a generic pointer universal pointer you can typecast it according to your requirement see if i write int asterisk ptr it means this pointer would be containing address of a variable whose data type is integer this is a pointer to int if i write here float asterisk ptr means this pointer will contain address of a variable whose data type is float this is float pointer right but this is void so we don't know the data type of the variable like which variable address we want to store in this pointer we don't know the data type of that variable is int or float or character or we don't know so according to our requirement if you i want to store address of a int variable I can typecast this pointer into int pointer. If I want to store address of a float variable, I can typecast it into float, right? On this word pointer also, I have already uploaded a video. The link of that video also you will find the side button. You can check out that video, right? So this is generic pointer, universal pointer. You can typecast it according to your requirement, right? These three main uses of this void data type is there. But we cannot use, like see, I'm writing int x is equal to 10 void asterisk ptr and in ptr is equal to address of x 
right in ptr i am assigning address of this x means this is x is int data type and if you want to dereference this pointer like how to dereference de de this asterisk ptr and suppose endl it will give error because this void this is what void pointer right and we are storing address of a int data type into variable so first you have to type cast it you cannot dereference a void pointer right void means nothing means no memory would be allocated so when you are going to dereference it doesn't have any idea how many bytes still how many bytes it has to access the value right how many bytes the size of the data type what only one byte value or the value is in four bytes or the value is in eight bytes it doesn't know so you have to specify so first type cast it how to type cast it you just have to write down like asterisk how to type cast int asterisk and ptr now we have type casted it into int pointer now int means now pointer no like four bytes so it has to dereference the value of till four bytes starting address then the like starting address is 1000 then 1001 then 1002 till 1003 till four bytes it has to access right so this is how you can typecast this void pointer if you want to store address of a float variable you just have to typecast it into float so these are three main uses of this void data type but we cannot declare something like this void and name of the variable a this would be incorrect because void is nothing no memory would be allocated to void so you cannot declare a variable of void data type right this is incorrect how you can use this void data type in three ways return type of a function void uh, rather than if you don't want to pass any argument there you can write down void and you can declare a void pointer right but you cannot declare a variable of void data type right so i think this is all about bool and void data type let me just show you with the help of a program okay so we have this file bool underscore dt dot cpp right so now first of all we'll take bool data type bool and we are taking bool, b is equal to suppose i'm taking true and simply we are printing c out b right that's it let me just run this and this it, this will print one automatically it would be converted into integer type so, sorry the integer value and true is one right so if you write here false then it will give you zero right in expression also you can write down these thing like uh, suppose i'm right i'm taking i'm not taking this bool boo data type We are taking int x is equal to 10 comma y suppose not next i'm taking float y is equal to 12.5 and next i'm taking float z equal to true plus x plus false plus y and we are just printing c out z one more thing we are printing c out uh, size of bool right so now let me just run this and show you see 23.5 means 10 plus 12.5, 22.5, 1, true, but false is 0. So, in expression also you can use this. In conditional statement you can use like if else statement, right. There also you can directly write down this one. If suppose you are writing if and I am writing here x less than y is equal to is equal to true. Simply C out and x is lesser, right? x less than y we are printing, right? 
and uh, in else part C out Y is lesser that is it right now uh, in this let me just run this and show you see first of all the value and the size then x is lesser because x is 10 and y is 12.5 so x is lesser it is printing it is true right now next thing is what so this is all about bool about void c if you want to declare a variable of type void void and x so void suppose i'm taking uh, v it will show error see incomplete type is not allowed because void is considered as incomplete type you cannot do these kind of things in three ways you can use this yeah if you declare it as a pointer like this that is fine i'm taking pointer name ptr semicolon right that is fine and uh, suppose let me just uh, comment out these things and we will just see what ptr equal to address of x right and in c out we are dereferencing it this asterisk ptr endl see it is showing red line means it if you run this it will give error void is not a pointer to object type you are dereferencing void pointer that is not allowed so you have to typecast it how to typecast int star because x is of int type now it will print 10 it is printing now 10 so you have to typecast it it is generic pointer so same return type of function you can use as void or parameter list if there is nothing you can write down void there but you cannot write down you cannot declare a variable of void data type right so i think this is all about void and bool data type in c++ and see if you write something like this if i am writing bool and uh, i am writing uh, suppose uh, p a data type name i am taking p is equal to 45 and now I am printing this P. Just see out P. See what it will give you. 1. In at the place of P it is printing 1. Because it is considering this 45 as true value. Other than 0 every value is true value. Right? only 0 is false so 45 is also if you print this it will print 1 that is true so i think that's it about bool and void data type in c++ so i think we have covered all the points about void and bool data type if there is something missing you can uh, you know write down that point in comment comment section or if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment section right so in the from the next video most probably we are going to start control structure in c++ so, so now in the next video till then bye bye take care